hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add fonts here in adobe express let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe express i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adding fonts here in Adobe Express is a simple process that allows you to personalize your projects. And by doing so, all I have to do is go to the left hand panel of your dashboard and go to the project that you're working with. If you haven't already, just go to the template section where if you can start from these popular templates. Or just click on the plus sign button wherein you can start from a small design that you wanted or upload a media. In my case, I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to add a new page, all right? Same size. Right here, I'm going to the left side panel of the dashboard and click on text. Right now, here, you can simply click on the add your text to add a font. All right. Now, in this situation right here, all we have to do is put in the text. All right. You see that? Obviously, you have the option to fill in the different color for that if you choose. A different font for example this and now you see if you wanted to add a custom font all i'm going to do is go to the search text right here for example um bold press enter let's see if we got something here so these are going to be some of your options where you can use for example this one right here click on that and of course you can type it from here all right so these are going to be your options or you can use the generate text effects to bring colorful option for your font all right you can use the sample effect for example i'm going to be using this one right here and what will happen is it would generate a cool effect for a custom fonts here in your design wait for it it'll take a little while you see that these styles are like realistic and a lot more once i've done that this is going to be the outcome right here on the product now, on the left side, you see there's going to be a filter button here. If you click on that, what will happen is you should be able to filter the text that you wanted. All right. And then on the text again, you can put simply click again on the options that you have here. So there's a lot that you can choose. Now, from there, you see there's going to be more options for the customization. You can choose a different font style right here. And of course, you can click on more fonts but the idea is if you wanted to add a custom font we have a separate video for that because it requires a premium plan subscription if you are using the free trial you're not going to be able to upload a custom fonts all right that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one